Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I want to talk to you about workspaces, in particular lists in workspaces. And this applies to, this is mostly going to apply to regular users, right? So people who are using workspaces, I've got my workspace, Justin's house up behind me. And what you may or may not have known, if you look here on the left hand side, in almost all of ServiceNow's new workspaces, there's the little list icon. It's three dots with three lines and it's meant to represent a list and if you go to that and the person who configured the workspace for you usually pre-populates a bunch of lists depending on what the application is so for Justin's house I'm focused on generating content and crawling the ServiceNow store and looking at features and I have ideas um, I have Jason's site where I'm pulling in ideas so that's what's relevant to me and in different workspaces you're gonna see different things like hardware is gonna have hardware stuff or hardware asset or asset management is gonna have asset stuff um, Service operations workspace is going to have ITSM related stuff. So customer service management configurable workspace is going to have customer related lists. And that's great, but sometimes the list you want isn't there because someone didn't think about it, they didn't put it there, they didn't think it needed to be there, or you're just different and you want your own list. And so ServiceNow gives us this cool feature called My Lists. Um, I probably have shown this before on the channel. What I'm going to show you is how to create one, but then also how to get rid of one once you've created it. Um, so let's go ahead and add a new list. Now I'm going to not start from an existing one. So you can pick an existing list and then start modifying how you want that to look, right? So if I picked my content, you know, all my content, then I could say, okay, well, I want these columns instead of the ones that the person chose, and I want to use these filters to select the stuff that I want to see, right? So some great flexibility around um, what shows up when you're looking at the list, how you're filtering it, and then how you're sorting it, sorting it, so I can click there and show how it's sorted. All that's cool and everything, but I want to create my own, and I'm going to pick something that I don't think is on any workspace that I have seen so far, and that's going to be announcements. I want the announcements to be in my workspace so that if I want to announce to myself, I don't have to leave my workspace, I can do it right there in my workspace. Um, we'll select a source. It's going to be a table called announcement. Uh, I'll just search for announcement, and that should pop up here once it searches. There it is, and it's automatically going to select some columns, which you see it just did there, and I'm fine with what it selected out of the box. Um, I could add some filters. I could change all that, and I could change the sort just like I was showing you earlier, but that's all I want to show you is how to get it here. Now it created the list. Now I have it there. Now I can open these and interact with them and do different things, right? So there's all that stuff. I think I'm in the wrong scope. Let me change my scope to global and that form will probably be editable. Yeah, there it is. So um, while I'm configuring it, I did it in my Justin's house application, but there it is. So there's all the forms. Look at all that stuff that showed up there. I created a list and then I was like, I don't want that list anymore. And I was like, huh, how do I get rid of this list? I didn't see like a delete button. I tried right clicking um, on announcements and I just got the browser menu. I went to add new list and there was no delete list. I was like, well, I don't know how to get rid of this. And um, finally I found my way over to here in the upper right hand corner, there is a settings or a gear icon right here. Um, and if you click on this gear icon, you can see I've got a delete option and it'll prompt me to confirm, are you sure you want to delete this list? And of course we're sure uh, because we created it and now we don't want it. I don't know about you, but sometimes I create lists when I'm trying to find something or trying to figure something out in the workspace. And then later I'm in a workspace and I'm like, why is this list showing up? I don't need this list. Well, this is how you get rid of it. You use the settings icon, you hit the delete button and now that list will go away and you can come back and add more lists if you want but that's how you get rid of them so I covered two things there how to create a list that the workspace administrator didn't think of and then use the settings icon to delete the list after you don't need it anymore I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in adding or removing lists from their favorite workspace in service now and until next time don't forget to always be learning